Here's a bonus question we couldn't fit on Q&A. It's from Katrina Holtzapple. Um, so good evening. So going back to uh, Aboriginal issues, as you can probably tell by my accent, I'm American. And with the release of movies like Wrinkle in Time and Black Panther, there's been a lot of discussion about the importance of representation. But I've been surprised that in Australia, despite a lot of debate around Australia Day and acknowledgement of country, there seems to be very little to, to almost no representation of Indigenous Australians on uh, television and media or any kind of um, yeah, internet. And I've been very surprised at that. So I was wondering if you could maybe explain to me a little bit about why this is such an issue and what can be done to change it. Start with Sharina. Thank you, Tony. Um, <clears throat> there's a few questions in there that I'm trying to formulate in my head in terms of an answer. Um, you know, it's about... We often have this myth of, uh, around diversification without actually having any inclusivity. America is far more progressive than Australia because, well, I mean, look, you have to just acknowledge the fact that we are still the only Commonwealth country without a treaty with its Indigenous peoples. So that resonates across the landscape. Aboriginal people and people of colour have often been relegated to the sidelines as expositional narratives or supporting. I think to answer your question, how do we flip that narrative? How do we reframe those uh, archetypes and deconstruct the stereotypes? It's about people who are already being the authors of their own narratives. They're no longer waiting for permission to Shereen, tell their stories. Just on that, we, we heard there was a mention there of um, the uh, Black Panther, yes. uh, this new film, and yes. it's a bit of a phenomenon. Um, does that indicate some real kind of shift has happened in America, and if so, yes. why? And could it happen here? Because it's a welcome advancement. You guys get to see yourselves up there as the epitome of, of success and power and authority. When we, we often are going, OK, you're, you're, you're the single mother of five, often from low socioeconomic demographic. You, can't, can't, you, are, you don't even have an intellectual potency. So with the likes of Black Panther, it's about the extension to the throne of blackness. It's about empowering our next generation, which is happening as a result of the wave of influence and money and economic uh, empowerment that we're investing, that the America anyone, is investing. For, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm going to have to explain. This is the latest Marvel This is the latest film, Marvel but, film. But it's, it's almost an entirely black cast. Yes! Black director, <laughs> black screenwriter. Yes. And black director, and black writers, <laughs> black cast. And you know what? White people are the supporting. <laughs> so imagine feeling like you guys are going, a lot of the people going, oh, but what if it was White Panther? And <laughs> what about white people? And how dare black empowerment relegate white white uh, characters to the sideline? Well, guess what? We've been having to uh, navigate that for centuries. For centuries. So America has got a lot more political power. We have a lot more economical investment. They have a lot more economical investment. They have a lot more philanthropic investment than we do here. It's about funding pools being accessible. It's about um, people of colour who are unapologetically stepping up and going, you know what, I'm no longer waiting for permission to tell, to, to put black people at the, as, to deconstruct white narratives and put black people as, as front and centre. OK. It's, it's, it's... We're, we're just about out of time. Do any of yeah. you white guys have anything to say? No! <laughs> no! Don't you dare! <laughs> Well, f uh, fair enough. But I mean. it's, it's true. We're, you know, we're, we're, America we're, is America is a welcome advancement. Black Panther is a welcome advancement. And if you ever see little kids going, I see little black kids going, this is me. Yeah, this is me. Yeah, and that's you. That's the first time they get to feel that sense of inclusivity. Now, that's where we'll have to end it. Thanks, Karina. Uh, Katrina, I should say, for your question.